Okay, so let's see how to solve this question. So for this type of function, okay, once you cannot simplify the function, you must use quotient rule or product rule. Okay, okay, let's see. This one, you see, you have a bracket power five. So of course you cannot simplify this. You you need to use quotient rule. Okay, alright. You can also apply. Okay, either you use quotient rule or product rule. You can use product rule here actually. But if you want to use the product rule, you need to bring up the bracket here. Become like this. Okay, this one. Okay, become like this. So this bracket. Okay, after you bawa naik, dia jadi power of negative 5. Boleh, tak ada masalah. Okay, so let this function be u. And this function be v. So, and then apply the product rule formula. Okay, always start from here. You need to, uh, u be, uh, differentiate u, you have 4. Differentiate v, you have this. Okay, uh, power of negative 6. So, you have this, right? Okay, so copy this term and this term first. Okay, so I copy here. Right. Okay, then suppose the next one is plus. So, this part done. Next, this part. So, you have plus operation. Supposed to be plus here, but then before you write, I, I always ask you to check before you copy this term and this term. Okay. This is u. Copy u. This one, dv dx, differentiate v. Right. Okay. Okay, so now, this one, okay, uh, you have negative 10, that's why here, I write negative 10. Okay, I, I write negative, because, because plus, positive negative become negative, so straight away you write negative here. Copy 10, copy 4x, and then copy this bracket, so you have like this. Okay, all this is this one. Okay, here... You don't have to convert to positive form. Why? Because this one is in negative form. So, let it be in negative form. So, you don't have to convert to uh, positive form. Okay, final answer nanti baru you convert pergi uh, positive form. Okay, now you boleh nampak sekarang we have the same function. Okay, you have 4, you have, you have, after you simplify become 40, you can take out 4, right? Okay, so here, dah selesai. Okay. Sampai sini, 10, 4, 40x, right? Okay, so now next, this one, I kata macam mana cara nak factorize, you tengok constant dulu. Okay, so tengok you punya constant, you have 4 and 40, you can take out 4. So that's why here you take out 4, right? And then next, variable, you only have one variable here x. So this one, this term, they tak no variable, right? Because we have two term, uh, two uh, term here, this side, you see? Separated by minus operation here. This term, one term. This term, one term. Betul. So, bila kita nak factorize, kita kena tengok uh, this this one and this one. Okay. 4, 40, take out 4. And then, you cannot take out x because this term, okay, you have x. But this term, dia tak ada x. So, tak boleh keluar x. So, next, you tengok bracket power negative 5. This one power negative 6. You take out the smaller the smaller index there is negative 6. That's why I take out negative 6, right? Okay. So, next, okay. 2x minus 1 power of negative 6. How to make it negative 5? Of course, okay. 2x minus 1 power of negative 6. Okay. How to make it negative 5? Of, co of course, you need to times dengan power of 1 bracket. Because this one, the same function. Negative 6 plus 1 become negative 5. So, when you times this and this, you get back this, right? Okay? So, once you have a bracket with power of 1, you don't have to write the bracket here. This one I write because I want to show to you all how how I get negative 5 here. Okay? Okay. Then, you have minus. So, you write minus here. Okay, and then, this bracket, this one. Okay? So, belah ni tak payah tengok dah lah. Dah selesai. So, this one and this one the same. So, you don't have to write it. 4. 
4 times negative 10 become negative 40 and then you have x so you write x then you simplify this become like this okay and then always write uh, this bracket first okay and this one is power of negative 6 right so you bring down become positive 6 become power of 6 and then you can see here you can take out the negative sign because dia ada benda yang sama lagi selagi ada benda yang sama you can factorize you take out negative sign become like this done okay so now next let's see how to use caution rule for this function if you want to use the caution rule okay let's use the caution rule formula okay the caution rule state that is if you have u over v so copy v differentiate u minus copy u differentiate v over v square that's the formula so let this function be u and let this function be v right so your u right now is 4x your v right now is 2x minus 1 power 5 okay so du dx or you can write as u prime is 4 dv dx or you can write as v prime okay become 5 times 1 5 copy the function in the bracket this is composite function the index there minus 1 become 5 minus 1 4 and don't forget differentiate the function in the bracket become 2 so now you have 10 2x minus 1 power 4 okay done okay now next let's apply this formula you can see this formula is start from v okay because since you have minus here you cannot change the position of these two term so you tak boleh tukar tempat ni dengan ni tak boleh tukar tempat dia kena mesti ikut sebiji macam tu tapi kalau product rule tadi sebab dia plus so this term and this term dia boleh tukar tempat position dia boleh tukar ok alright so V nampak tak uh, dia side sebelah sini ok so that's why I'll, I always start from here ok so you need to copy this and this so copy the constant first okay since we have y in terms of x I write dy by dx okay we have 4 then the bracket okay next minus okay before you write minus okay look at the next term yang you kena copy tu u dv dx u dv dx is it has negative sign tak ada kalau tak ada maknanya dia remain negative kat sini Kalau di sini ada negatif, okay, maybe, so yeah, this here become positive. Okay, so we copy the constant first, you have 10. Okay, followed by 4x, followed by this bracket. Over, don't forget the v here, you need to square it. Okay, power of 2, so square. Okay, now let's simplify. Okay. This one, 40. 10, 4, 40. And this one, 5, 2 is 10, right? Times 2 become 10. Okay, now. We, now let's simplify this. Okay, sama juga. We have two function. So this one, one function minus and then this function. Okay, we need to factorize. Okay, kita tengok yang sama constant dulu. 4 and 40, you can take out 4. 4 and 40, take out 4. Variable x, sini ada. But this one, tak ada. So tak boleh salin. This bracket and this bracket, take out the smaller bracket. The power of 4, there. Then open bracket. Okay, now let's factorize. Ini jangan tengok. Tengok sini. Okay, this one 4 got. So you don't have to write. Okay. 2x minus 1 power 5. So this one power 4. So you need one more bracket to make it power 5, right? So you don't have to write the bracket power of 1 here. Just leave it like this. Okay, next minus. Okay, minus. Okay, here 40, here 4, you must write 
10 here 10 times 4 40 and then you have variable x there and this bracket is already here so tak payah tulis over okay next we simplify let's write this bracket first uh, this one negative 10 plus 2 negative 8 and then write this bracket okay but before that this two bracket okay you can simplify you know why because this one is actually uh, dia ini semua times 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 maknanya dia boleh simplify lah so this one the index there power of 4 so 4 minus 10 become negative 6 ok so this one and this one I can cancel here become 6 alright if you want to write in negative form it is power of negative 6 lah ok but I think I, I want to leave it because our final answer always write in positive form right so you just write power of 6 ok before you stop check Ada tak benda yang sama lagi? Ada, ini ada. You can take out the negative sign there. Okay, negative AX plus 1. Okay. So, check balik. Sama tak jawapan dengan tadi kita guna this one using product rule and this one using caution rule. Final answer, the same. Right? Okay, done. Okay, I hope you understand. Ah. Huh? Okay, bye.